Hi, welcome back to another episode of Jumbo Mrs. Ultra Hard Walkthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, as a very quick recap, uh, we p finished off the previous episode all the way over here, where we discovered a pretty big uh, bombshell. Uh, so we've been here at Maker's End, which is kind of like the, the headquarters of the corporation Faro, Faro, the Faro Corporation or something rather, like F-A-R-O. Um, they basically 335,000 years ago created these machines which would consume biomass, that being fauna and all kind of flora, um, in order to uh, self-heal and, 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 and refuel and all that sort of stuff. Which kind of, something went wrong, there was a glitch and uh, uh, the, the person who you would have seen already in episode 2 or 3 who we had a DNA match of some 99%, 6-7% or something, uh, her name is Elizabeth Sobek. Um, Sirens, the mysterious uh, voice in our ear who happens to be a, a whiz with the... Uh, with the focuses on us on, on the side of Aloy's head there, he can he can connect everyone's focuses together and get like a network of communications going. Um, he 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 sort of you know loves all this wealth of knowledge that Aloy just stumbled across. Um, so it's very exciting. So we know that these Pharaoh machines destroyed the Earth. They 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 are what caused the apocalypse here, um, but. Elizabeth Sobek, she was a scientist and a very bright cookie and she worked out or she designed something called Project Zero Dawn. We have no idea what this project entailed um, and we're going to be chasing up that in this episode. So we are not far away from, from following that up uh, where we got to go to Graves, Grave Horde there. Uh, but I just stumbled across this uh, corrupted zone which I want to take out. So what do we got? A charger. Probably all going to be charges. Four charges, pardon me. Okay, well we know what we're going to resort to. Being the fire arrows. Ah, now, what else do I have? Is four skill points. Um, I could get scavenger plus, but triple shot, oh, it's just too tempting. I'm sorry. I, get, I went back on my word, I know. I'm a, I'm a dick. Um, okay, so... Oh, we got a fellow back as well. I missed that guy. Alright, let's sneak up on this guy here. Um, can we take this guy out with silent strike though? I don't know. I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Yep, okay. Nope. Oopsie. That was just not the best of starts. But anyway. Hopefully he will burn out. That's such a big difference now having triple shot, where we can fire off three fire arrows at one time. And they can instantly go on fire and stop them in their path. Like that. See how I was aiming for that guy on the left, but I went straight for the guy who was charging me, and it completely interrupted him. So just little minor tactics like that can help you. And of course, slowing down time when you're out of concentration like this also really, really helps. Now then, let's go for this fellow back. Maybe right after I put that guy back on fire. Alright. Hey there, friend. How's it going? I'm afraid life is not going to be much longer for you. Is he going to charge me? No more ammo there, but that's okay. Let's get some of these hard point arrows going and we can start... Piercing his uh, throat sack there. There we are. So. Using these hard point arrows on my hunter bow here because they're quite they're quite cheap to craft. I know they do less impact damage. They have a smaller stat base stat um, of impact. But they are cheaper to uh, to craft. I'm just trying to keep my distance on this guy. He's soon to explode. Using my fast reload skill here when when I'm concentrating there. Okay, let's see. Let's use a couple of these because I have so many of them. Oh, that was unfortunate. 
There we are. Let's use a health potion there. And he's not on fire yet, but let's set him on fire. And that should do him in. There we are. Yep. Okay. So that's our corrupted zone clear. Got a number of glint hawks roaming this area. So let's use our newly acquired skill, allowing us to tether a number of arrows to our bow. And let's get pounding. I'm about to say, like, if he is, isn't on fire already, then there we are. Okay, we've got more than just, uh, more than just clean hawks. That ought to do some damage to people. Yikes, okay, this is this is a bit nuts. Wowee. That was crazy. Take, whoa, leave my fucking strider alone, you bastard. You little bitch. Leave my kill alone. Yep, gonna need to uh, save up my shards to get anything decent from from that from those guys. Eclipse. I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. Thanks. On my own, all right. Let's wait for this watcher to turn around and continue on his little patrol route and then we can get into that tall grass, lure him over and kill him and then deal with the three humans. We can probably set that guy's blaze kind of a light. Let's do that. Nice. Yeah, so these tentacle looking things are part of the Horus machine that the Pharaoh Corporation used to build. I believe it's the Horus, because there's no reference to the Horus machine in this. Shadow of a metal devil. Great. Yeah, there's no there's no reference to the Horus machine itself other than maybe the metal devil, but no actual official name to it. Um, I mean, this bad boy looks bad indeed. He, this guy's obviously got to be something to do with the DLC, which will come out pretty soon. Scrabbling a bit. Oh right, so we got a number of dudes here. Got a watcher there, and more eclipse here. Okay, well, let's scurry on down here. He's walking backwards and forwards. Okay, fine. To me. Let's take oh. Down. What? Oh, fair enough. Oh, well, he's going to blow up. Let's grab some of these. Oh. Damn, this guy's tough. There we go. Time to take a look around the room. So these, check out these tanks. These guys look pretty badass. Obviously, 
trying to defend the fort here from something, and there's a dead corruptor there, which tells me that they were defending themselves from these machines which were taking over, consuming all the biomass around them. Uh, I need to pick up this, because I... Nope, I wanted the medicine. There we are. Operation Enduring Victory. Um... Am I supposed Whatever to go down was, there? Doesn't seem to have turned out very well. This is it, boy. Okay. Must Death. have been where the soldiers slept. Like the lodge in Mother's heart, I guess. Definitely looking for the ap apocalyptic here. What was this place? Some kind of fort, Aloy. I know that all, all these audio logs around here, but I just want to be honest. Were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. I guess they were used to it. Yeah, there's all these audio logs everywhere, but I, I just want to, honestly, get on with the episode um, and showcase as much of the story as possible. Red light. Guess that means no power. Alright, so we have a puzzle. I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. There must be some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning object. Oh, that's informative. Okay. All saying the same thing there. Power cable which goes all the way around there, ba 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 to here to power these. I'm clearly missing something. Okay, let's have a play about. Oh, well, look at that. How did I? Well, okay, fine. Well, now I just look stupid. Three power lines, resources. That makes one. This is interesting. There aren't any red lines there, but we'll just turn. No, I don't want to turn that one. Turn these two 180 degrees. Plus two. One more. Uh, what's the code there? Hmm. That's tricky. So if the first two, fourth, oh, yikes! I don't know. Definitely need to power this one because you see the other two power lines are all purple. Um. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Oh, hello. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature's poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. Quite a good way of remembering it. Alright, so there we are, that's the puzzle passed. And the door opens. Oh boy. Okay, I've got a number of elites here by the looks of it. A scrapper which we can definitely keep use of. Oh, I just unmarked those two guys which I didn't want to unmark, sorry. Right, he's got a heavy weapon there, you can see that. 
Right, 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 right. Okay, what do we do first? Let's get rid of him over there. Okay, well, he's now been notified. He's now ended. And they're all alert. They all know something's up, but they don't necessarily know. Okay, maybe they... No, they don't know where I am. Being at high will help. Oh, he's using his radar. I've got to move a little bit, I think. Yep, there we are. I was just out of range, I think. Oh! That guy here almost spotted me. But we're almost incognito. Finally. There we are. Bugger off, mate. Tell you what, let's sneak up if we... No, he's just gone down. I was going to say, if we proc that power cell on the scrap it, it's not going to do much for us. Um, I obviously need to get down. It's them, all right. They're not looking for answers, just weapons. There's nothing for me to use as stealth here. Jump down. Let's destroy you. And I'll have that supply crate while I'm at it. Ah, oh, heavy friends going up there to investigate. Probably the noise that we made when we dropped down. Oh, he's in, he is in elite. Oopsie. I just nudged a little bit too far. Oh, come on, show me your head. Nope, okay, fine. Well, at least I have, an, I have an escape route out of the window here. Hey, you. Okay, we probably need to get out of here. Sneaky, sneaky. I've lost them. Wow, I didn't know I could actually lose them like that. That's pretty cool. Let's get back into this. Oh, well, let's destroy this guy first, actually. That's three precision arrows to the head. That's a guaranteed kill on one of those elite guys. Oh, that was an awful, 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 awful shot. Here we go again. Did they just not know that this that I'm sneaking back and forth through here? <laughs> All right, let's give it to the scrapper here. There we go. Uh, let's use a quick firing arrow actually in cl close combat like this. We got one more guy in here? No. It's just typical, isn't it? As soon as I get the heavy guy down to give me that heavy weapon, I've gone ahead and just killed them all anyway. Got a free running section. Uh, over there. That'll work. So what the heck happened to this fort? Um, I'm sure these audio logs would definitely tell us. And they did, I, I, on recollection, when I played this through the first time I, I opened up all these audio logs because I wanted to know what was going on. Um, and that's that's essentially what it is. They were, they were holding down the fort and they got uh, ambushed by a load of uh, machines. And they all died. And this should tell us a little bit more about that, I hope. What is this? That? It's a map. 
A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? Well, yes, what is Project Zero doing exactly? Bum, bum, bum. Is that the Horus machine? I think it is. He was capable of replicating machines. Tampering with a metal devil. They don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! I mean, if he can replicate death bringers, then Christ, this guy's got some arsenal. Yes, another Kopesh. Kopesh was the name the Asian ones gave to these Deathbringers, which all of our tribesmen now refer to it as. So, from memory, this is a ground fight. Um, I can't kill this thing from up here, but before we go into that ground stage, I want to just make sure I'm in the right state of readiness. That is satisfactory to me. So what's on the top there? We have the, the swarm launcher. Um, why don't we... Now what would be the smart move here? Smart move would probably be to take out the smaller dudes who are going to be a pain in the arse to me. And from memory, something falls here. But I might be wrong. Yeah, I think it might only fall because the Deathbringer launches missiles at me. So that'll help me. Those two guys are deed. And I could also, because the Deathbringer's not really looking in my direction, I could probably kill these other two guys here. But right, that's not the best timing. Here we go, we've got someone walking out. If I, if I kill that guy, maybe this guy's a better shot. Oh, beautiful. Lovely jubbly. Now the Deathbringer has no clue what's going on. We've got one sniper. Or something. Okay, now the Deathbringer has definitely seen us. Yep, okay. <clears throat> I thought that might happen. I did say it. Guy again. I've got to put up a fight. Okay, now I have time to run. And it's time to rip out. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of worked. <laughs> it didn't really, but uh, it'll, it'll, it'll do. It'll have to do. We'll just have to heal up a little bit. And we'll take this guy out now, because we have no humans here to take him here. Oh, I was a little bit... I thought I'd let loose. Let's notch a couple of these. Time to run.
Now he's almost overheating. Let's help you there. There we go. Now it's time to get the big guns out. I have to notch three of these. And get a nice shot on your center thing right there. Boom, baby! 230. That's a big damage. Big damage count. Ooh, I just managed to get that. Let's get that, that, that for moments back up again. There we are. Big hit there. Notching arrows as I slide there. Oh god, just too late. Those crates do get destroyed here, but I can use them for a split second if I need to. Not copy against those things. So it's going okay so far. I imagine he's less than half health now. such a big target, really. He really overheats very, very quickly. A lot faster than the, the first death bringer that we encountered. I don't know the reason behind that. Perhaps it's because he's mobile, because he's walking it. Overheats him faster? I don't know. Oh, I should have moved a little bit quicker than that. Give me that medicine. Gotta move from that bridge. Now it's opened up something else. That's obviously very, very vulnerable now. Move, Jamba, move. Right. 
Yeah, so the soldiers obviously who held down this fort were up against quite an arsenal. Um, this guy, I don't know, can't say what happened to him. Um, yeah, I don't know, not so sure. Obviously something to do with Project Zero Dawn. Um, but anyway, so let's pick up our legendary mods. Ugh, not mad about no that, space. not mad about that, not mad about that. But we'll, we'll pick them up and we'll, we'll ditch the uh, modifications that we don't want. Through this door over here. Uh, let's just pick up a few of these supply crates. God knows they are very, very ha helpful. Now, I think there are more answers down here, which is always nice. Oh, there's more Eclipse. I can't remember. I think more answers, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. After what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, oh, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on. If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this? We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime! It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base? What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Carja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place, each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades, a whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. 
All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines. Not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Now, how am I gonna get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. Look at the size of these arms! They're humongous! I do not want to face this guy. Oh, yikes, Aloy. This reminds me of some Ratchet and Clank grind rail stuff. Huh. I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. Yeah, oh, God, I, I love the, uh, the, the. Oh, man. It would just be so cool to go back in time and, and you know, 335,000 years ago to, to witness exactly what happened in the apocalypse. Oh, it'd be so sick. Um, right, so I think that's all I have time for tonight, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you have enjoyed, please, please share it. Uh, give it a like, uh, whatever you, th you, you may think of it. Uh, comment down below. Uh, all, all that, all that good stuff. Thank you very much for checking in. Thank you very much for uh, for for sticking with me to the end. Uh, much appreciated. Now take care and and see you in the next one. Okay, bye bye.